and coming in. Uh, what have you seen from your game that you want to bring to the table and inject into the rotations here in terms of style of play? Uh, just offensive, just creativity, uh, scoring, playmaking. Um, and then honestly, defense just, uh, I feel like I could be a top tier uh, guard defender in the league. Um, so uh, that those, those are my goals, man. You know, my goals this year to be um, just just that competitive guy who comes in and helps, um, you know, six man of the year type player. So that, that's the focus for me personally. Um, at your introductory press conference, you talked about <clears throat> wanting a fresh start and a new beginning and how that could be a positive. I know it's early. You've been around your teammates and, and practiced with them, I'm sure. Uh, what's the beginning of that process been like? It's, it's been great so far, um, to be completely honest. Um, I got lucky with the time and just because it's a brand new facility that I get to practice in. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, we got a good group of guys. Um, I think that came at a, at a fitting time. You know, I feel like this team has had the same core for a minute, and I think at this point with this team, it's just like we either going to go forward or go backwards. You know what I mean? I think that's where everybody's at. You know, we got a great head coach. We got all this new talent surrounding that core that's been here for a little bit. I just think it's it's, a, it's just the right time for this team. I think we're slept on by a lot of people right now, which is good for us, um, just to come into the season under the radar and just kind of prove everybody wrong a little bit. So I think it's good. Consistency has been like a big thing today. Um, for this team defensively, how do you feel like you can help them in that regard, uh, being more consistent? Man, that's just that's just pure like ego and will. You know what I mean? As a defender, to be a good defender, you just gotta have that. You gotta be a dog. You know what I mean? So I definitely go to try to bring that as much as I can, because um, we got guys who can do it. You know if they want to. You know what I mean? So for me to just any way I can push them into being more consistent in that way, I'll, I'm gonna do my best. Besides consistency, how else do you see yourself taking helping this team go to the next level? Um, I think chemistry, man. Just just bringing everybody together. I've been through some some stuff just from where I played, being in the media center in LA, playing for the team that had a lot of good times, a lot of dysfunction. So I've seen it on both sides. Um, so I know what 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 dysfunction looks like, and I know what also a team that is willing to win looks like. Um, so. From what I've seen so far, everybody just seems on the same page. I, like I said, I think everybody's at the point now where we're just like, I think they're done with all the BS. I think last year they had a lot of that stuff. I think that's kind of worked its way out. I think to the point now, we're all just focused on hoping. Um, the East is wide open in, in our eyes. So, you know, I think it's an exciting time. Your father being your coach, um, I know that's hard to give up a player, but it being your father, how is that, you and your father's? I'm happy I don't play for him no more. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't got to play for my father. That's, it, was a, it, was, it was a sad day just because you, you, you leave people that you love. You know what I mean? Uh, I love my pops, and more so I love, uh, uh, I, I considered everybody their family just because I was there for four years and I had nothing but success there. Every year I got better. So it was hard to, to say goodbye to everybody, but it was time now. And I was there for four years. It was time for me to move on. It, it was time for me to, to go somewhere else and, and, and do my own thing. So, uh, you know, I, I'm sure it was a lot harder for him than it was for me because I was ready to move on where him being my father, I'm sure it was, it was tough. Uh, but I'm sure he's happy too now because that's a lot of pressure. It was a lot of pressure, man. Like coaching me and then me playing for him, like, Every night, the stuff we had to deal with, whether it's from the opposing team, crowd, people, media, especially media, like it was hard on us. So uh, it took its toll. And I think we were both at the point where like our heads were hitting the ceiling, like we're, we're, we're kind of over this. Um, and I felt like I was, I can only go with so far with him being my pops. And it had nothing to do with him. It just had to do with the circumstances. Like anything I did there was discredited because I played for him. So I was over it. And uh, I, I'm thankful for those times because we did something that nobody's ever done before like I'm gonna look back and tell this to my kid now and tell him the things I got to do with his grandfather and that's something nobody or anybody can take away from me because um, at the end of the day if any of these players out here or current players could do that with their son they would if they said they not they lied so I'm very thankful for that I'm very very humbly thankful for that and um, but it's time for me to move on two more in the front here you mentioned being slept on a couple times today already uh, with the depth this team has, what kind of um, 
is what kind of difficulties do you think you can present opposing teams, both well, on the offensive and defensive end? I think if we don't play athletic, it would be to a, I think it would, it would be disappointing. I think that's the advantage we have. You look at our lineup with John and Brad and Otto, and then you have a guy like Morse, Dwight, me, Kelly, Jeff Green. Like that's a lot of athletic ability, man. Like if we don't play fast and outscore people, I, I, and that's what I, what I've seen so far. We played pickup and uh, three pointers count as twos, layups count as ones. Uh, a, a layups count as twos, mid range counts as one. So they're, they're forcing us to shoot a lot of threes and attack the basket, make play, so, and, and play at a shot, shot clock is at 14 seconds, I think. So we're playing at a high speed. So uh, everything I think we're doing now, we're gearing towards our ability. So I think that's the problem that we could present to teams is just our athletic ability and our pace. You're in a similar boat to a lot of your teammates in that you're entering a contract year. Right. Um, what's your mindset? What's your approach to that? And you know, have you been through this situation before and, and have any yeah. experience to draw upon? Man, I, I have. It's tough, you know what I mean? Because people on the outside don't realize this is our, you know, this is our life. This is how we feed our families. Um, going into a contract year, I, this is like, I think my third time going into a contract year, honestly. Um, what I try to do is focus on the things I can control. And the only thing I can control is how I perform and, and how I play. And if you focus on how much you get paid or how much this guy gets paid, it messes you up in the head, honestly. Um, it's all about timing. Some guys get lucky. Some guys are liked by different teams. You know, my, I think if you just go out there and hoop, everything takes care of take, uh, takes care of itself. So, and that's me honestly saying that. So I, I feel like if I do my job here, and if we win games, then then you get paid. I mean, it's that simple. So um, that's my focus, and uh, hopefully, I believe that will happen. So uh, just gotta take it step by step. Uh, last time we talked, uh, your son KJ wasn't here yet. Yeah. Um, now, KJ. Said, yeah, you were talking about how he was gonna kind of change your perspective, not only you know as a man, but also looking at you know the relationship you had with your dad playing for him. And right. Stuff like that. Um, I'm sure you had your expectations. How was it measured up to your expectations being a dad? Well, it's always more than expectations. It don't hit you until you have it. You know what I mean? Like everybody's like, oh, you're having a son. I'm like, yeah, but my life or schedule hadn't changed. But once it's out, and like you gotta adjust your lifestyle and everything you do. I can't go hang out with the boys after I practice. I can't go just drive around and do a bunch of nonsense. Like everything is revolved around the kid. It's like, so I'm I'm trying to go home and like go on my iPad and play my music or do this. And my girl's like, I need you to help with this. I'm not trying to, I, I built like three cribs, two <laughs> toy things. You got all types of toys now. He's spoiled as hell. So yeah, you got all this stuff for him. So I'm. Yeah, it's been a process. It's been a process. So <laughs> I've had to adjust. I still am adjusting with the sleep. So I'm going to have to, we got to figure that out. We got a training camp starting tomorrow. I'm not doing this four hours of sleep at night. <laughs> I'm just speaking out loud right now. I, I, can't, I can't do this, man. This is tough. So uh, I'm going to have to ask Brad for some advice because he just went through it. So.